Cause you can count on me like love fish One, two, three, I'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Yo, you guys, my name is Skill Based Aquatics here, and for today's video, we've got a contest. That's right, a contest entry for Love Fish 1, 2, 3, Uno, Dos, Trace, Hana, Dual Set, whichever way you want to say it, but if you type it in the URL, it is 1, 2, 3. She asked, Can you give us our, your favorite fish? Which we are looking at him, but I'll get closer in a second. And why you got into the hobby, or how you got into the hobby. So let's get started. Alright guys, we'll be looking at my favorite fish in the fish room, my ruby red albino oscar by the name of Payday. I call him Payday because he kind of looks like the outside of a Payday bar. Um, he is in this 110 gallon with a 60 gallon hang off the back and a 60 gallon sponge. He has a ba pretty basic setup, uh, two silver dollars, uh, flying fox, albino bristle nose, and a Cynodon's catfish. I want to get him more dithers such as more silver dollars and some giant danios to help him feel a little more secure. He's been in this tank for about three years, two years now, uh, and he is an, just an amazing fish. He's personable. Uh, he'll come up the glass chasing you for food, but not in the sense like a red devil or a jag would, where they're trying to kill you and, and rip off your fingers. He's more of a gentle giant. Um, he's pretty calm as far as cichlids go. Can't say that for every fish, but for my fish, that is the case. Now, my favorite thing about uh, Oscars and him in general is that they sulk. When you get an Oscar and you put it into a new tank, Nine times out of ten, they're going to sulk for anywhere from a day to a week. Well, when I change anything in his tank, like that 60-gallon sponge filter that is new, he will sulk for about a day, uh, sometimes two. Uh, food normally draws him out, so that's why I throw a few pellets in there, but he already ate this morning, so not sure if he's going to eat again. Um, but they are just, he's an amazing fish. He'll follow my fingers when he's up to uh, par. Um, he... He's just a very beautiful fish, as you can see. He has those bright oranges, uh, the yellows, and the and the whites. And I love him with a passion. This tank uh, is solely his tank. He's the king of this tank, as you can see. He has it pretty much all to himself. He is about seven inches, I'd say. Ooh, knocking over chairs, I see. He's about seven inches. He is a very messy fish, but he is a super personable fish. So he is one of those fish that I would definitely call my pet. Whereas, you know, I have my angel fish in that tank. I have uh, my mosquito fish in that tank. They're not pets. He, on the other hand, he's a pet. So yeah, this is my big old buddy Oscar by the name of Payday. So what got me into this lovely hobby that we are all a part of today? My father. My father, when I was growing up, always told me stories about him living in Ohio and him owning uh, Oscars, Jack Dempsey's, uh, Red Belly Piranhas, things of that nature. And, you know, me, you know, six, eight, ten-year-old self was super stoked about hearing those. You're like, oh, man, you know, this piranha killed this fish. And I know it sounds bad, but that's what it was at the time. And so my father got me into it and bought me my first tank, which is my 45 tall right there. And from there, it just kind of became an obsession. <laughs> uh, you know, I got that tank. I've got my frog and snake. I've got that. That, that, that has some fish in it, and then I've got stuff upstairs, too. So, yeah, uh, pretty much because of my father, that's why I'm in this crazy community, hobby, family that we're all in. I love this, you know, I love everything about it. Alright, guys, go check out Love Fish 123 Hana Dual Set, Uno Dos Trace, but then again, the URL is just 123. She's an amazing channel, she's very energetic, and she seems to love fish with a passion, which, to get a subscribe out of me, that's what it takes, is to be very energetic and love what you're doing. Uh, she has some cool marine tanks with some corals and snails, and since I don't own any marine tanks, seeing that kind of stuff is great. She has some betas and some sword tails and things like that. Uh, not the biggest uh, fish collection in the world, but still a very interesting, unique one at that. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera work, got one hand here. Uh, so... Uh, the contest ends either today or tomorrow. I think I don't know if cutoff is July 2nd, uh, or if that's the last day you can actually put something in. Uh, but anyways, get your butts doing that, and go hit up our subscriber button, and go enter the contest. You have, like, now to do it. Um, we are a family. We are a community. We are a YouTube, I don't know, group, and I love it. I love that all of us, you know, fish keepers, reptile keepers, things like that, we're all kind of connected. So I don't normally do contests uh, for myself. I don't normally do contests in general, but she is a smaller channel, and I kind of want to help her out. 
Uh, I hope some of y'all have that same thought process in mind and don't just want to win her prize because, you know, it's not really about the prize for me. It's about, you know, helping her out, helping out a fellow YouTuber. So, yeah, this has been your main man, Scale Based Aquatics here, giving y'all a contest entry for Love Fish 123. Go check her out. Go hit up that subscribe button. And as always, holla!